This is an ABC Action News Tracking the Tropics update. Sponsored by these valued partners. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Jason Adams with your Saturday morning tropical update. Ignore the red flash that goes across the screen. Looks like there's a little bit of a satellite data issue this morning, but you can clearly see Hurricane Lee still well organized, but certainly nowhere near as powerful as it was just 24 hours ago when it was a category five. It's down to a category three, encountering some strong upper level shear here on the southwest part of the storm, but that is expected to obey here as we head to the afternoon, meaning that we'll likely see this restrengthening back up to at least a category four, maybe trying to make a run into another category five. But the best part about all of this is that it's not impacting any of the lesser Antilles. Maybe some squally weather with showers and storms, but certainly no threat for hurricane force conditions. That is for sure with it being so far to the north of Puerto Rico, of Vieques and the northern U.S. Virgin Islands. Then that eventual turn to the north is finally showing up in the forecast track. It's one we've been talking about for a while now that keeps this well to the east of Florida. This actually may impact our weather though and bring in some drier weather next week versus some of the scattered showers and storms that we're seeing out there in the forecast this weekend. We also have tropical storm Margot, 45 mile per hour winds. Again, ignore that satellite glitch that's happening out there this morning, but this one will not impact the United States or any land areas here for the next seven days. That's the good news. It could become our next hurricane as it moves out to the North Atlantic, but no conditions as far as it coming back west toward us are expected at this time. So there are the two storms, the Gulf, Caribbean, Southwest Atlantic, beautifully quiet right now. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it stays that way. We are the peak of hurricane season, so we'll keep you posted right here from ABC Action News.